Do you struggle with parking in downtown Edmonton for Rogers Place events? Have you ever wondered if there's any free parking for Rogers Place events? Or maybe how early do you have to get to downtown to get one of the good spots? If you have these questions, then this video is for you. I'm Jen McPhillamy, real estate associate realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. Welcome to my downtown dweller series where I provide you with information and insight from a downtown dweller's perspective. So I have heard it all. Parking in downtown Edmonton sucks so much. There's never anywhere to park in downtown Edmonton for Rogers Place events. It is so expensive to park in downtown Edmonton for Rogers Place events. Is there even any free parking in downtown Edmonton for Rogers Place events? Well, if you can relate to these struggles, then I'm gonna help ease those struggles with the information provided to you in this video. Before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell so you're reminded of new videos that I post weekly. So getting right into it, let's talk about how expensive it is to park in downtown Edmonton for Rogers Place events. I'm sure most of you have seen event parking, $30. That seems high. But just so you know, there's only a few of those and most places are costing around $15. You can even find places to park as low as $4 for the event. But didn't you say there was a free parking option? Well, you're gonna have to wait to find out about that. First, let's talk about where these parking stalls are. It can really suck when you're heading out to Rogers Place event and not knowing where to park. Roaming around, trying to find a spot, getting stuck in traffic, being late for your event. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna solve this problem for you by introducing you to the Parking Panda website. So it's parkingpanda.com, Rogers Place, Edmonton Parking. I'm gonna have the link right down here on the screen, so screenshot it or look in the description below for the link. This is where you're gonna be able to find parking that works for you at a price that you wanna pay. The best part about this website is that you can reserve a spot in advance and it's 100% guaranteed. All you have to do is go to the website, select the event you're attending, and then all the parking options will appear on an easy to use interactive map. Let's go over a quick example. So let's select this $20 option, which I know is the closest parking you will get to Rogers Place and you don't have to go outside to get there. So when you click on it, what it tells you is what kind of parking stall it is. It's a heated underground parkade. And the restriction is it has a maximum vehicle height of six foot, 10 inches. It'll also provide you with information on where to park and how to redeem your pass. Each parking location has its own policies and restrictions, so make sure you read those before selecting a spot. Maybe parkade parking isn't for you, and you'd rather try your luck on street parking. The advantages to street parking is that it's a lot easier to exit because you're not bottlenecked trying to get a one entrance from a parkade. And if you use the ePark app to park on the street, you only pay for the hours that you use, because as soon as you get back to your car, you can stop the meter. So if street parking is your preferred option, make sure you check out the City of Edmonton parking website to check out the restrictions for street parking. I'll provide you with the link right here on the screen and in the description below. So when you get to that website, click on the rates, hours, and locations link. That will pull up the interactive City of Edmonton parking map. What you'll see is where the street parking is, and it will be green, orange, or red. Green means that there's really no tow-away zones. Red means that there's two times of the day that there's, a to that there's tow-away restrictions. Orange means that there's only one time during the day that there's a tow-away restriction. So click on those and you'll, it'll provide you with the times that the restrictions apply. Event parking for all street parking is $3.50 per hour up to 10 p.m. And you can park for a maximum of two hours to five hours. But make sure you check the location 
because you don't want to get a fine if you end up parking in a maximum two hour zone and you're actually at the event for more anything more than two hours early. The city of Edmonton stops the clock on all street parking at 10 p.m. So after that, you don't have to be worried about paying or being fined. But if you're gonna leave your car overnight, make sure you check to see what time the meter starts again the next day, because sometimes it's 7 a.m., sometimes it's 9 a.m. So where is this free parking during events that I mentioned? Honestly, I thought I was gonna tell you all about free parking on Sundays, because street parking or meter parking is free on Sundays. But after clarifying with the city of Edmonton, unfortunately, event rates apply even on Sundays. So the only time you'll get free parking in downtown for Rogers Place events is after 10 p.m. for street parking. So the other free parking option, which isn't really in downtown, but will get you to downtown pretty fast, is the four park and ride LRT lots. Those are free on a first come first serve basis after 5.30 during the weekdays and holidays. On weekends, all park and ride LRT lots are on a first come first serve basis. So anyone can park anywhere. Well, now you know the parking options for downtown Edmonton Rogers Place event. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.